Hello, everyone. Welcome back to freepilotgroundschool.ca. This is the sixth lesson on flight instruments. We're going to talk about the gyroscope. Gyroscope, probably uh, you have seen them as a kid. Uh, a toy top that you spin is considered a gyroscope. The gyroscopes inside uh, several instruments that are used in an aircraft. A gyroscope has two properties. The first one is gyroscopic inertia, and that's a resistance to change of position. And you can see that when you play with the gyroscope, no matter which way you turn it, that gyroscope always remains in the same position. The second property is gyroscopic precession. If you apply a force to the gyroscope, the force acts 90 degrees from the input force. And uh, perhaps you've seen this when you've spun a bike wheel, let's say, and try to move it, and it feels like it's moving uh, quite, not quite as it's supposed to. The gyroscopic inertia is the resistance to the change in position. So as you can see, here's a sample instrument. There's a gyroscope spinning in the middle. And if that instrument uh, moves, that gyroscope will turn uh, or will remain in the fixed position. Here's a neat little video about uh, how gyroscopic precession works. In order to hold this bicycle wheel up, uh, seemingly not like it's supposed to be held up. Gyroscope has two properties, gyroscopic inertia and gyroscopic precession. Here's a sample question to let you apply what you just learned to a practical example. A tail dragger with a clockwise spinning propeller will upon raising the tail, A, yaw left due to gyroscopic inertia, B, yaw right due to gyroscopic inertia, C, yaw left due to gyroscopic precession, and D, yaw right due to gyroscopic precession. Okay, so remember gyroscopic inertia resists a change. So I think we can eliminate those two, uh, the first two the uh, from gyroscopic inertia. So a gyroscopic precession on a force acts on a gyroscope, we'll say the propeller acts like a gyroscope, it's going clockwise. The propeller is uh, moving the aircraft forward, and when we raise the tail, it's kind of the same as the, a force being applied at the top of the propeller going forward. So that acts 90 degrees out, so that means spinning clockwise. So it's as if you're pulling the right side of the propeller forward, meaning the aircraft will yaw to the left. So the correct answer, C, the aircraft will yaw to the left due to gyroscopic precession. So it means on takeoff, you have to apply right rudder. That concludes uh, this lesson on the gyroscope. We'll see you in our next lesson.